everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. The numbers, Mason, what do they mean? I The numbers make me tingle. The numbers make everything tingle. What the heck is going on? I don't know, but the numbers, here we go. They finished their 2.5, uh, 7.5 billion yen, um, buyback the share buyback it says so basically the surge on the 13th of june to 2800 yen is due to the share buyback giving jp investors false hope that the upswing will lead to back uh lead it back and breaking 3000 yen line uh, that's pretty much what happened when there still wasn't any momentum after that jp investors got worried but they were still trying to be positive now with the report concluding the buyback jp investors seem to be panicking uh, and they're going to be trying to sell everything out. Traders in Yahoo are really, really panicking right now. Um, basically, their buyback has been done. Number of shares, 2 million shares uh, bought, 7.5 billion yen from June 13th to July 3rd. It's uh, July 3rd in, uh, in you know, both Japan and over here. Common stock of the company, up to 4 million shares, the upper limit, of course. So all these things are happening here. Um, and, you know, the any color stock buyback stuff, they're panicking. Everyone's panicking on uh, JP. On the JP side, uh, limit max 900,000 shares, max of 2.5 million yen, billion yen. First buyback was uh, on 2023, and now they pretty much tripled it for this year, the buyback. So yeah, they're just doing a lot of craziness. Um, and after everything's been done, as has been mentioned before, that's sort of the buyback in conjunction with the Kyoto 4 report caused a jump in price, but it couldn't sustain a recovery. So now they're back down to 2,600. They went up to... You know, they went up to maybe around closer to 3,000, 2,800. Now they're back down. Traded volume is also quite anemic, meaning there isn't really much resistance to the downtrend. Sellers are selling cheaper now than they were before. Pretty funny reading the comments of the folks on the JP Yahoo Finance Board being completely surprised. Stock buyback already happened because it did so little. Barely anyone noticed it in the first place. Whatever happens, just remember this one word. Negligible. You gotta love the negligible stuff. No, I need you will keep doing buybacks. People are just going to make money off of it, wait to the low, and then sell high, as they always will, as they always should, really. And here we have some of the stuff here. People are saying previous closing price, opening price. Uh, strongly want to buy, want to buy, wait and see. A lot of people here. This is terrible. Uh, PTS didn't fail as much as I thought. It's coming back up a little. Expected share price. I want to strongly July, whatever. Last time it was only 2.5 billion yen. Now it's 7.5 billion yen. Still not taking hormones, so I want to buy at the bottom tomorrow. Basically, people are getting freaking out, and that's just expected for Nidhi Sanji. Well, here's a look at what's happening when it comes to everything in regards to the merch. The merch, the big amount of merch that they had for Core Noir, 22 type of merch, very grim future for EN. They used to have seven types of merch, but now they can do three types of merch and all have the same design. Basically, they used to have, they like, before the venue cancellation, they had a lot of, you know, ability to make different ones. They had, you know, some, at least some variety here. But uh, then you go on to after the venue cancellation, it's just random regular stuff like copy paste, cookie cutter type stuff. At the top, the EN merch was really good. At the bottom, that's what happens when uh, their big uh, thing gets canceled. Their big concert gets canceled. Let's look at uh, what other people have put out here. These are the actual uh, sources for everything. Probably because they all had the logo and now cancel concert on them. It's a very grim indeed. Yeah, everything now is 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 been changed. It is quite quite the drastic view. A uh, cancel concert merch pog. So cancel concert merch is okay. Seriously, imagine selling a forty one dollar light stick for a cancel concert. So yeah, they're still gonna try to do that, of course. So they dumped the decent merch and keep the trinkets. Seriously, don't know the West. The shirts and hoodies would be the first things to sell out. They didn't know the West in the first place. Will the closing not really have been produced? I know it got canceled, but it's still YouTube. If you at least hand it out to anyone who had a concert pass and sell it half or something. Yeah, you know, that would have been good. Who knows if they're actually going to do that. Uh, not Niji Sanji booth. It's a Core Noir booth featuring Niji EN. They're really showing they don't care for the fans at all. Imagine saving up just to go to LA only for the concert to be canceled. Then thinking you're going to be able to buy merch in AX only for them to remove all the merch. Uh, Kuro Sanji never fails to disappoint. It is just a weird way that they do their things. And um, they still make a lot of money though. So that's interesting. Continuing on on the merch uh, news, basically that Nidhi Sanji is a merch company now. One thing I really noticed is over the past few months, especially after Selen Shock, it's in the 2% and constant push. It feels like any color is a VTuber company who sells merch 
and more like a merch company who has VTubers. So it's it's become instead of a VTuber company with merch, it's a merch company with a bit of VTubers to kind of push their stuff along. But it's always so clearly their priority over everything else, and may as well be. Honestly, the amount of discussion of the 2% turns me off. If I was financially stable, I'd rather just send super chats instead of members instead. Just go buy fan merch, to be honest. Yeah, it's better to buy fan merch, honestly, because of the fact that, yeah, uh, the 2% thing is a thing. It is wild that it is even a thing. But yeah, even if they admit that they're a merch company, they make boring merch, as boring and soulless as Nidhi Sanji is. But guess after seeing that the, the merch stuff happening, it is, um, they're on live support. So they're going to keep trying to sell merch as much as they can. Merch is effing sucks for merch company. So yeah, uh, unfortunately they are pushing for merch way too much. As I have mentioned in previous episodes, previous things that I've mentioned, is that Nidhi Sanji is going to have four life site Nidhi Sanji figures. But um, Hololive, of course, is doing a lot more than just figures. Nidhi Sanji just has figures there and they have their booth and that's it. You have a bunch of things here. You have a uh, mini game and trolling karaoke with Zeta. Let's sing with uh, A6GAP, Hachama, you know, Hollow Earth stuff. Sing with uh, Super Nenichi, Ririka's karaoke party. All these types of things at Anime Expo. When uh, all of that Nidhi Sanji has is their four life-size figures and that's it. Because they've canceled pretty much everything else. Hachama now scatter. Hachama and spiders. Hachama when. Hachama now. Finally, live action Hachama cooking. Since just the only event too, they have that Dodger game in LA. Same date as AX event. OS Hachama now. You can't run. Once again, Hollow Life is thriving at AX. I'm all for it. So yeah, they're having a bunch of good things out there. Of course, their, their full schedule. They're doing what Nidhi Sanji should have done. What a large corporation should do at these huge events like Anime Expo. But uh, as we know, Nidhi Sanji isn't the best at those types of things. Of course, taking this with a grain of salt, as it always is, you always should have that with a grain of salt. I want to take a look at this though, because just taking it as face value as well. Uh, this person apparently made an attempt, um, attempting after being doxxed by the same guy a while ago. I uh, didn't want to add more drama to the nest, but it's the same sickling guy that randomly DM'd me a while ago, decided to come back. So this is according to the sickling stuff. Uh, remember how I mentioned that Hex Haywire sickling community, they call themselves the sicklings. They are, um, they were doxing, harassing, hurting each other in their own confusion and being generally just mean spirited and bad people in regards to everything there because there was uh, jealousy of Hex Haywire supposedly taking more, giving more attention to other people. This person did make an attempt according to what they have written here and um, tweeted again while it stocked his account and alt account. How is he not suspended from Twitter yet? This disgusts me so much. The fact that he said he wanted to touch and dox everyone is so disgusting. Made me sick to the stomach is that the fact he wanted Denise to pass away in the hospital is just way too far. It says here, I won't apologize or feel guilty. You guys can hate and cry over it like a crybaby because I don't give an S. I'm going to touch and dox every one of you guys, and I hope Denise passes away in the hospital. Um, that is just really, what the heck? Why are you targeting other people? What do they do to deserve this? This guy is just definitely should not be on Twitter. It's me, Aaliyah, once again. I decided to make a Google form for the messages and media for Denise. I'm not sure if it works properly, so I have to check them out myself. Uh, pretty please tell me if there's any certain issue with the form below. Uh, uh, Aaliyah posted this, not me. I retouched the artwork a little. Hey, Denise. It's Aaliyah again. Uh, huge apologies for not uploading it for hours. Hotspot ran out and I had to go with uh, without Wi-Fi for a few hours. Update on Denise Boo. Uh, she's heavily, a heavy sleeper, so that's why she's currently asleep. She's grateful for all the love you guys gave her. I'm going to throw up. If I let Denise see this, I'm sure her mental health will go down even more. Diana, whoever you are, never ever do this to someone ever again. Denise was saved uh, on time. My head aches just to think about it if she wasn't saved on time. Had no words. Insane. Some of these people need to be locked up. So glad to hear Denise is still with us, though. Absolutely. Very good news. Uh, give us a little bit of background. It's a sickling. You know, that entire hex drama, as I mentioned before. Uh, just like in other PS saying, however, these posts don't read like real people. I'm probably just being a tinfoil hat person. Did anyone else notice that three people all use the same words? Same spacing, same punctuation. So there is um, people being a little bit skeptical, which is fine being skeptical. Like I said, I take it at face value, but also with a grain of salt because like you could skinwalk anybody pretty much at any point in time if you really feel like doing it. If you feel like uh, doing that, which I, I don't know very many people who would do that other than like Nidhi Sanji. But like if you feel that that's something you need to do, then yeah, some people will do that. So yeah, it's just basically a lot of people are having questions about it whether it's actually uh, Denise or Aaliyah or anybody else trying to make it make the situation seem worse 
make it seem better for them you know you don't know but i i just leave it to you guys to decide whether it is or isn't i'm just giving you guys the information that i have so unfortunately copyright strike coon always hits you hard when it comes to these things there's a good uh bit of you know stuff here when it comes to uh what we're going to be doing uh this is a music video that was made it is using actual white knight music video stuff um it's basically you have a little bit of the music here I want you to show me so yeah we can only only play that much because like um one thing i did want to put in here though is uh let's take a look at uh what's going on here when it comes to uh everything that's being shown um they have all these things and one thing i'm on tv mom you see this i'm on tv they actually put me on this i i feel flattered i feel very flattered i <laughs> mom i'm on tv holy crap mom i'm on tv i can't believe it i like to thank the academy <laughs> this play this is all meme stuff of course thank you for for, for for dealing with my crap right now it's just it's funny you know here we have a short Sayu section. Sayu is lewd. Sayu is, Sayu is lewd. Say, so, say, say is say on altar. Um, lewd. She, all she's doing, all she's doing is, is cuddling. That's all this is. This is just exercises. This is exercises. It's, it's, um, thrusting exercise. I don't know. I don't know what you want to call this, but it's exercises. Uh, if there's anything I learned from Cecilia, you sacrifice a few things chasing a dream. Cyborg. Oh God. There's a hole. There's a goal. Oh my goodness. These people. <clears throat> Kitsune positioning Mecca as a skin suit. Question is, would you bang a mecha or a kitsune? The answer is yes, absolutely. Sag hex. Yes, sag hex. Uh, does it have vibration function? Either way, will. Not gonna lie, I'm down bad for a design. Oh, God, some people are really down bad for a design. This is just a little bit of a um, Twitter moment brought to you by Sayu and the um, people that are down bad for her, which are a lot of people. I mean, she's an amazing person overall. She's she's done great for her, her community. She's done great uh, actual content, things like that. So let her have some fun. Hello everyone. This is a small thing about a channel who seems to be a clipper, but has also done some interesting parts of just seems like they're trying to get past YouTube's flagging system because YouTube will flag you for very various things. And also like for things like this, the full uh, things in regards to the actual uh, Hololive really doesn't like this. Hololive in general really doesn't like it when you fully just clip the whole song. They want you to clip parts of it. In fact, most agencies prefer you just to clip parts of it and not all of it. Of course, uh, there are some, like for example, some clippers that will do uh, karaoke things, especially like even it's unarchived karaoke, sometimes it'll pop up. But this part is what will possibly get them into more trouble. It's just a small channel that maybe doesn't know much about how to do these things. But as you can see, they're getting 73K views on it. it just seem like they're having so much fun. Yes, they're having fun. But you do run, uh, you run a foul. You run foul of a lot of things here, you know, and that's the issue. That's the big issue that you run into when you do these things. You do run afoul of some of the YouTube copyright systems, um, you know, things like this, uh, doing the, there's a reason why I have it, um, you know, the, the, the audio cut out, but this is non, you don't even have like subtitles. You don't have anything that's adding any kind of substance to it for fair use. If they wanted to go after you, they could go after you, uh, this channel, but that's just a, a small look at things that are going on. I don't know if uh, they will get reported. Uh, Hololive, that's the main risk here because Hololive really doesn't like this type of stuff. For most concerts, whether they are free or not, they prefer you not to clip that part. Just clip certain parts out of it. It's even in part of their clipper rules that they don't let you do this. So this could be running a file more of, of Hololive or it could be a nothing burger. You guys decide. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.